give you an idea how they work, they use little jet engines. They're baby versions of the same engines you get on a jet fighter or a, an airliner. On the back, you've got three engines, and on the arms, you've got two on each arm. So what, what it results in is thrust that you lean on and thrust that lifts you from behind. You squeeze the trigger, in comes the power, you rise up, and all the maneuverability is from you steering the thrust, almost like the intuitive balance you have when you're surfing or skiing or even riding a bike. So when you want to stop the suit from flying forwards, you actually just point the engines forwards and all of that thrust will slow you down and then you'll flare your arms out so you sink down. And when you're on the ground, you can let go of the trigger, which means all the power drops away. So in terms of statistics, you can go almost as high as you like, but we enjoy the safety aspect of just terrain hugging. Uh, in terms of speed, I've gone 130 kilometers an hour over water. Um, over hard ground, we wouldn't go quite so fast. These suits roughly around 1500 horsepower so they're nearly 50% more powerful than the cars going around this track. You can accelerate 0 to 50 kilometers an hour probably in a second. Compared to a car that's got traction on the road I think the car would beat us after 50 but the initial launch it's really fast.